Now, dozens of people protested outside India's Supreme Court today, a day after a panel of judges dismissed a sexual harassment complaint against the Chief Justice. But protesters weren't allowed to speak their mind for very long as police moved in quickly to clear them, with many, including fellow lawyers and reporters, being taken away. Authorities have now said it was illegal to hold demonstrations at the Supreme Court. The, protest, the protests had come after a former court assistant accused Chief Justice Ranjan Gogoi of unwanted sexual advances last year. She says she and her family were victimized after she spurned Mr. Gogoi's advances. Neha Punya is following the story. She joins us live from Delhi right now. Neha, good evening. A panel of judges cleared him. Why are people still unhappy about this and are there any more protests planned? Important to remember that the panel of judges that, were, that was looking into this uh, specific issue was constituted in the first place by the man who's accused of sexual harassment, the Chief Justice of India, Ranjan Gogoi. Uh, we also don't know on what basis that uh, exoneration was handed to the uh, uh, top uh, judge in India's judicial system. Uh, the panel that uh, probed these allegations of harassment uh, only uh, uh, told the media and members of the public that a clean shit was given to him but we don't know on what grounds a report uh, of a uh, detailed report of the findings of the probe uh, has also not been placed in the public domain, not even shared with the complainant in this case. Uh, she's now demanded a copy saying it's her right to know on what basis those allegations that she had leveled were completely dismissed. Uh, also important to remember that uh, the panel, the three judges that were on the panel were all junior to the Chief Justice uh, and uh, there was no external member. This was an internal probe that was carried out in spite of the fact that the complainant had stopped attending these hearings after the third hearing. Uh, she claimed that there was absolutely no justice, that uh, no uh, due process was being followed, there was uh, an opaque way of handling the complaint and uh, she had asked for external uh, members to probe her allegations. So a lot of um, secrecy surrounding the manner in which this clean shit was handed to India's uh, highest judge, which is why these protests took place in the first place. And Niha, tell us more about the, the complainant in this case, or the victim, and how she's been sort of reacting to this sort of latest announcements. When these uh, protests took place, uh, she's, uh, she had not yet decided if sh uh, she wants to appeal this uh, exoneration handed to India's Chief Justice. She says she's still con consulting her legal team, uh, but she did say that she is dejected and completely disappointed uh, in the outcome of that uh, probe that was carried out in just about two weeks. She's also questioning uh, the lack of independent uh, members on that committee. Um, important to remember that the entire Me Too movement that we've seen around the world in including here in India, has been about influential men uh, who've uh, been accused of abusing their position. So she's saying in this case, how can a man who I've leveled allegations against, how can he constitute a probe uh, to probe himself? And shouldn't there be some sort of um, uh, independent uh, uh, inquiry into this entire process? Uh, she's also, like I said, demanded a copy of that uh, probe report. Uh, she says uh, based on what the panel found, she'll take a further call on uh, deciding her next step and uh, we could see more protests uh, in the days ahead because there's a lot of support coming in for the complainant from different quarters, including many voices in India's uh, judicial system as well.